The opening ceremony of the 2018 Winter Olympics was held in Pyeongchang, South Korea. Mikhail Mikhailian was Armenia's flag bearer at the event. Armenia is represented by three athletes, cross-country skiers Mikhail Mikhailian and Katya Galusyan and alpine skier Ashot Garabetian. The Sports Arbitration Court has decided to dismiss 47 appeals from Russian athletes to participate in the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. The head of the International Olympic Committee Commission, Nicole Howertz, welcomed the decision. Representatives of the World Anti-Doping Agency also approved the court verdict. President of Armenia Ser Sarkisyan on Friday received the OSC Minsk Group co-chairs who have arrived in Yerevan on a regional visit. The co-chairs briefed the president on the results of their talks in the Azerbaijani capital city of Baku. On Thursday, the co-chairs had met with Armenian Foreign Minister Akbar Nalbandian who had briefed them on the killing of an Armenian soldier as a result of ceasefire violation by the Azerbaijani side. The Karabakh conflict remains a very serious challenge, EU foreign policy chief Federica Mogherini said. The top EU diplomat noted that the status quo is unsustainable and she urged the parties to follow up on their agreement to intensify negotiations and reduce tensions on the line of contact. The conflict does not have a military solution and needs political settlement, she added. Bodies of four people were found inside cars in two separate incidents in Yerevan and Gumri. Bodies of a woman and a man were found inside a car in a garage in Yerevan. It turned out that the man was being searched by the police as missing since Thursday. They died of carbon monoxide poisoning. Another couple was found dead inside a car in a garage in Gumri. American law enforcers have charged three armies with fraud on U.S. visa matters. One of the accused is an American citizen, whereas the other two are Armenian. They unlawfully were bringing Armenian citizens over to the United States. The Armenians and Greeks of the United States have launched a campaign against the reckless sale of America's most advanced fighter jets to Turkey. The respective statement warns against the sale of F-35 fighters to a country that may very well turn them against American forces or U.S. regional allies, including Greece, Cyprus, Israel and Armenia.